Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 187. Let's go ahead and get started. After Rasha's failed attempt to flee, the Eastern Empire erupted in an outrage. Punish this cowardly empress without mercy! At the tower where the upper class are imprisoned. You've suffered greatly. Having to stay here even though you're innocent. N no, your majesty. You saved me and hid me. Take this as a compensation, even though it may not be enough. Return home. She won't be able to hurt you anymore. Oh, th th then, then. <gasps> we shall meet again in court. Th th thank you, thank you. Oh, it's the maid, right? Delise, Rasha's former personal maid. The streets will be in chaos. Have a guard follow her discreetly and keep an eye on her. Yes, your majesty. Step, step. Um, your majesty? Oh, is it? What do you tell uh, Duke Twania of Empress Rasha's escape attempt? Because he is a fool. Wait, did, did, why do you tell Duke Twenty of Empress Rasha's escape attempt? Step, step. Pardon? He's as much of a fool as I am. He lost the woman he loves with a single mistake. And regrets what can no longer be changed. I gave him a push of encouragement, just this once. That's all. In the streets of the capital. The swindling empress punish a cowardly empress. Uh? How can a woman who tries to flee after deceiving the entire nation be called an empress? Oh, oh my goodness. To us commoners, she's nothing but a swindler, not a symbol of hope. Away with the swindling, swindling Empress. Down with the Swindling Empress. <laughs> she evokes pity even in this moment. There was a time when I used to admire her beauty. We don't want a criminal Empress. Send her to the gallows at once. <laughs> You're... <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's screaming. I couldn't scream against my baby sleeping right now. It's like nine at night. The Remarried Empress 187. A few days later, on the day of the Empress Rasha's trial. Oh, it feels very ominous. Very cloudy and dark. Runs once Rasha is dethroned, my subjects will flood me with a demand for a new empress who can produce an a heir swiftly. Maidens from good families will vie for the position. But none can replace Navier, no matter how great they are. What of Navier? Is she coming? Oh, she informed us that she will be here merely to observe. She plans to come and go quietly and requests that you don't seek further details. What about Duke Ergi? Is he still in the capital? Yes, but he has been quiet after secretly meeting with a Countess Bertie. Has the task already concluded? I heard the mother and father of the child I was entrusted with are both here, so it came to return him. After that day, nothing could be undone. Glorium, Nevier. I sent everyone I love away. What am I living for now? Uh, he's crying. We will now commence the trial of the defendant, Rashta Ishka.
Rashtra and Soveshu brought me the greatest suffering I've ever known. The end of our marriage was orchestrated by Soveshu. So it will be bittersweet to witness this trial. Still, I want to personally see Rashtra dethroned. When I was divorced without any say, and my position of empress was stolen from me. <laughs> she watched me with a smile. Today, I'll return the favor. Please, let me know if being here becomes too much for you. I've arranged it so we can leave immediately. <laughs> Thank you. The first to take the witness stand were the Ishkas and Viscount Liteshu. Their testimonies were the same as the ones they gave in the previous trial. The only one who spoke differently was Alan. It was no surprise that he was scorned for it. He had tried to betray his own father to save his own skin. What? You wretched, cowardly bastard! Marquis Kara was next. He testified that Rasha signed a harbor transfer document after putting herself into a huge debt with Duke Ergi, and that the money she borrowed went to the Rimwells. The witness for the check misappropriation incident, the one I was asked to testify for, the Weimar Consortium's president is here. After all, he's also a victim as he issued the check. Suspicion about this incident surfaced long ago. Why are you only coming forward now? It was a mistake that I did not bring the truth to light immediately. Still, at the time, the Empress' position was secure, and I asked you to consider how difficult it would have been for me to step forward. His answer is as expected. From a man who is exceptionally smart and well aware of what he stands to gain and lose, after the testimony about the check misappropriation incident, Evely took the stand and testified about how Rashta instigated the carriage and destruction incident. Then, Viscount Landre stepped forward and detailed how Rashta slandered Neon and caused her divorce. Following them, Rashta's former maids testified one after another. One said Rashida had grievously injured her to avoid being tracked when she tried to flee before trial. Another said Rashida had falsely accused her and had half her tongue cut off. As for Rashida, No, no, none of that is true. Your Honor, I wish to present a document. It's from a criminal who was sentenced to slavery for fraud. Oh, that's... Oh. Your Honor, I wish to present a document. It's from a criminal who was sentenced to slavery for fraud. <gasps> Joanson. It's Joanson. Our generation's voice of conscience. The pen of justice. Joanson. Joanson. It's a journalist who wrote several articles exposing Russia's misdeeds. The criminal had a daughter named Russia. The daughter is the same age as Her Majesty. She was sentenced to go to the Rimwell estate. What are you saying? Does that mean Empress Russia wasn't even a commoner? She was a slave? So a slave claimed to represent the commoners and pretended to be a noble woman? He's proving Russia's slave status through a document about her father rather than a certificate of purchase. Savashu must have destroyed the certificate. But it appears he hadn't even thought about this one. A slave conned her way into becoming an empress. It's a disgrace to the empire. <gasps> Down with the slave empress. His, 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 his majesty. His majesty is impotent. She did not just say that. <gasps> no. Oh, ooh. That's pure slander. Like, ooh, that will piss him off. 
You rushed, oh, you idiot. Oh, all right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this and react to, reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Man.